Welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. You know, we get to see and cover hundreds, if not thousands, of athletes in the 34 years we've been doing Friday Night Sports Extra. Hard to find a guy like Jace Malik that meant so much to all of us over that time. Jace uh, diagnosed with cancer right near the end of his senior year. He'd already uh, committed to Idaho, still got a scholarship to the University of Idaho where Alyssa got to, to be him as a vandal down there. Unfortunately, lost that battle to cancer. In his time between diagnosis and passing, Jace Malik really showed a lot of us what it means to be strong, tough, and give to others. So in his name, we created the Jace Malik Award for Toughness. We're going to give it away again this year. If you know somebody that's in any uh, relation to any fall sport going on right now that you believe shows the toughness, shows the uh, selflessness that we saw in our friend Jace, please send us an email, sports at kxoy.com. We'd love to hear that story about the person that you know, and we'll be giving that away at the end of the season, Taylor. All right, guys, I'm going to take you out to the old frontier. A couple of Frontier League rivals going head to head tonight. Cheney Colville. Cheney's on the move. We've got Alex Long under center. He rolls out, and oh, oh, here we go. Oh, and he hits his tight end, the big man, Kobe Holt. Oh, my, I'm exhausted just watching this. Stiff arm, hello, makes it all the way down to the goal line. Oh, sorry, Kobe, they got gotcha. you. That sets up another touchdown. Spoiler alert. Hey, Alex Long rolls out. Oh, hey, we know that guy. Kobe Holt from a couple yards out for six, making up for the tackle there. Cheney is up 7-0. Other side of the ball, number 68. Sorry, your name wasn't on the roster. Wants a hug. He gets it. Eddie Anna right there with him. Sacks Tyler Vaughn. That'll do it. Cheney wins a close one, actually. Shocking compared to what our highlights said. 21 <laughs> to 20. Flat twist. <laughs> well, there is a big game, obviously, going on tomorrow in Pullman with the Washington State Cougars. But tonight we had Pullman and Lakeside going at it for a very, very good game. Pullman playing well on the road. Riley Pettit connects with Ryan Bickelhaupt. That is a touchdown for the Greyhounds, and they are pumped about it. First score of the year. Eagles, they're going to try to answer, though. Cole Hunsaker with nowhere to go. He's sacked by Gabe Westensee. He saw it from a mile away. Eagles had their good spots on offense. Hunsaker finds Dawson Tobik. He is going to dance into the end zone. Nice pickup for the Eagles. I was trying to say something with toes, but it didn't come to me. <laughs> Keith's got it. Looking to finish off the drive, but Hunsaker is picked off by Bickelhopped. This guy all over the highlights tonight, but nice return. Greyhounds looking pretty good tonight on offense and defense. They get the 28 to 7 win, hoping for another great game uh, later on. Well, we had Timberlake and Freeman going on as well tonight, a little bit further away. Scoreless early in the first, and the Freeman Scotties are going to get a boost from their defense. Tristan Christ intercepts the pass. He's going to take it back about 25 yards. He is moving after the pick. Timberlake's quarterback, Jolie Follini, says, you know what? I'm just going to keep this to myself. Rolling out to his right and diving for the end zone for the game's first score. And it was so nice, but it's not so bright out there. Beautiful sunset. Follini fools out everybody, including our photographer, and scambles in for his second score of the night. The Scotties would get some life, though. Keani Rogan fields this kickoff and decides to put on the afterburner streaking down the left sideline for a 95 yard kickoff return are you kidding me and the sunset doesn't get any better than that oh my gosh timberlake wins 44 to 12. <laughs> the training wheels off of taylor she's just screaming through everybody's highlights here omac known for a stampede they make their way down to chihuahua to visit the Cougars. We're going to head up to Chihuahua. We go. This is early on second half. Omac on the move. Aaron Black going to complete the deep pass to John Cardona. Nice catch on the other end. Omac would punt, though. Cougars get their chance on offense, but Tanner Sackman with the literal name of the night because he got a sack. No way. Man. Man. Pioneers oh. get the ball, man. Oh. Black <laughs> Joseph Avina, <laughs> we have a nice pickup here. They're going to finish that drive off. Tanner Hall going to take it around the end. And this is how you score. You, you give it a little, little sauce. Oh, a little oh, sauce. Little, nice little. job, Tanner Hall. Oh. Omac goes on the road to Chihuahua. They come home with a 37-15 stampeding win. We have a lot more coming up at Friday Night Sports Extra, including our plays of the week. So if you've already run your highlights, maybe you'll show up again. Stick around and find out.